super hot news in the wrestling world at the moment, Bayramov quote unquote beat Kamizo at the European qualifiers this past weekend. I put the quotes in there on purpose because this match is full of bad referee decisions and we're going to take a close look at them. It's also controversial because Kamizo claims that corruption and bribery was a part of the decision making, even stating that he turned down a $300,000 bribe that was asking for him to lose, reported by ESPN. Yikes. So let's break this match down and see what all the fuss is about and see if we can get to the bottom of it. About 25 seconds in, Kamizo gets a deep lefty collar tie and so Bayramov grabs a lefty Russian tie up. With all of the pressure Kamizo is putting in, he's able to step his right leg inside, grab the far waist with his right arm and pull Kamizo down to the mat. This is actually a super sneaky tactic I saw Seth Gross do once. When you get a Russian tie up, you can actually throw the near leg in, the Merkel leg, attack the far side, lock your hands up and pull them down for a takedown that's really slick. It almost lulls your opponent into a false sense of security and then it's too late. This shouldn't give up a takedown outright. In freestyle, you have to cover the hip first. Kamizo comes up to his feet, reaches back and around Bayramov. I see wrestlers do that from time to time and it sometimes gets them out of this situation, but I seriously don't recommend you try it unless there's a lot of hip separation already. It's pretty easy for your opponent to lock hands, pull your hips close and bear hug you down to your back, which is kind of what Bayramov does, though he steps his leg across and does more of a Polish, otherwise known as an outside trip. You step over the leg, throw your hips in, try to launch your opponent to his back, Kamizo doesn't hit his back right away, so this should really only be a takedown, but then he rolls across his back, which would definitely give up the set of back exposure. Bayramov keeps him on his hip. This should be four points for feet to back, but there's a challenge, and the refs come up with six points? I'm assuming they are counting the other time Kamizo gets pushed to his back, but the rule is the defensive wrestler needs to get back to a defendable position before you can award more points. Kamizo wasn't able to get back to his base. I saw a similar situation happen at last chance qualifiers last weekend, and the top guy didn't get any extra points. So so this is bad call number one. The score should be 4-0, but instead it's 6-0. Bayramov. Two minutes into the first, Kamizo gets an underhook on the left, though he really just has his arm across the back. He drives in, steps behind the near leg, and is able to trip Bayramov backwards. He ends up only getting two points here for the takedown, which I think is correct. Bayramov did a good job getting back to his stomach as he fell. This outside trip was similar to Bayramov's, so there's not much to talk about here. To defend this, you would need to keep your hips far away from your opponent, try to chop that overhook down so you can gain control of the situation, or maybe do a fire carry like Jax Forrest did to Tomasello. At the very least, that would allow you to disappear from the position and give yourself a chance to not get scored on. Score is 6-2 Bayramov. 25 seconds left in the first, Kamizo does a hard snap down. It looks like Bayramov goes for an arm spin on the right, but slips off of it and fails epically. I still don't understand arm spins. They just seem too easy to defend at a super high level. I know you see them from time to time. They make highlight clips just like headlocks do, but against the best in the world, I'm just not confident in it. Score is 6-4 Bayramov. 35 seconds into the second, Kamizo has two underhooks and is able to get a push out, making the score 6-5 Bayramov. Nothing crazy going on with this, but be careful in folk style. If you do this, you are always liable to give up a fleeing the mat call or stall call if all you're trying to do is push your opponent out of bounds. Make sure you couple that with an actual attack if you want to keep the ref on your side. Minute 45 left in the period. Kamizo gets another push out, bringing the score to 6-6. This one was just random. Bayramov is winning because of the higher amplitude of scoring, so Kamizo still needs more points to win. Minute 13 left. The two are hand fighting. Kamizo snaps, which forces Bayramov to stand straight up. Up, and so Kamizo goes for a random double from the space. Baramov goes to a wizard, starts circling around Kamizo's head a little bit. There's not too much you can do from a shin wizard in freestyle, so I see a lot of wrestlers, especially Yanni, circle towards the head and try to push their opponent's head to the outside to force a crotch lock, which then converts the position to a crackdown for them. Kamizo comes up with a leg, slips off of it, and then steps behind the legs and grabs an inverted double. I've actually seen this before, the goal being to use your knee to trip your opponent backwards to his back, but Baramov is able to sprawl and stay on top. Again, this would be two in folk style, but because in freestyle, you have to cover the hip to get a takedown. The ref is going to hold this. Bayramov does get around behind, but Kamizo is able to get up to a quad pod before that, so still no takedown. Kamizo starts walking towards the edge, which gives up the push out because they're not grounded. And it also gives up a caution point because he didn't try to stay in bounds. So the score is now 8-6 Bayramov. Almost 30 seconds in, they're in an over-under position. Kamizo incidentally steps on Bayramov's foot, which causes him to fall over and backwards. This is contested and ruled not a takedown. In freestyle, you're not allowed to step on your opponent's foot. A silly rule, but still rule, so no change in the score. 15 seconds left, Kamizo is running at Bayramov like a madman. Referee signals a caution. Bayramov trips and falls to his back and lays there. This should be four points, feet to back, pin, really, because Bayramov just quits. I have no idea what the caution is for, maybe for running away, but man, a caution call stopping a four-point play is insane. Score is 8-7, Bayramov. Couple seconds later, another caution is called almost immediately, bringing the score to 8-8. Bayramov winning on criteria like before when it was tied. These two cautions being called so quickly is a little bit suspicious to me. It's almost like calling the caution
position is going to negate any points that Kamiza will get for a takedown to the back, especially. And so it'll keep Bayramov in a position to win the match. Three seconds left. Kamizo is still attacking like crazy. Drops to a near single. Bayramov falls to his base. Kamizo is behind him with half a second to spare. This is a takedown. Score should be 10-8 Kamizo. Bayramov hits his knee right here as Kamizo is already behind him. So calling this two points is a super easy decision to make. They look at it from a different angle. And again, the knee hits the mat before time is out. And yet the refs still wave it off. I don't know about you, but this is indisputable. Kamizo should win 10-8. Anyone with a pair of eyes can see this. So would you be mad like Kamizo is? Yes, definitely. However, the coach in me is saying that it's important in moments like this to take a step back, compose yourself, accept the final result, and move forward. There's always more matches to wrestle in this sport. Harping on the past is never a great way to look at life. The real issue with the match happened way before this. It happened when Bayramov got that first takedown. That's what needs to be looked at from Kamizo's point of view. How can he stop that first takedown from happening so he's never put in this position in the first place?